with someone the other day and I was telling them how I like to seal my letters and cards and such with wax stamps and they're like oh my god you're so old-fashioned and you all you do all this stuff you make doilies I said you know what I like it I like it so I love wax stamps this one here came from a stationery shop many years ago I can't even remember the name of the store now but the end here screws off and then you can just buy a bunch of different of these and screw it onto the handle now you can also get these on Amazon I think I'm going to look on Amazon. I should look before I made this video, but Amazon should have some like this. And then you can also get them when they're all one piece where the end does not come off. So this one here has a little sunflower. This one has a rose and I have a bunch of different ones. I don't know where they are at this exact moment. But and someone in my Facebook group also sent me a beautiful one that says stay wild moon child. And I absolutely adore that one. But for the wax, she's like, I'm going to use a candle. I said, don't do that. Well, I'm going to. We'll do it then. And then she ruined it. So the reason why you don't want to use a candle is because you don't know exactly what type of wax is in the candle. Okay, different types of wax are going to react differently with the stamp. Some are softer, some are harder. Brittle waxes are going to chip off of your envelope. The soft ones are not going to hold a shape and they're they're also going to flake off this is especially made wax just for this it's also highly pigmented so the the coloring of a normal candle you're not going to have the coloring and they also have fragrance oils in them and once that oil hits your paper it's going to start you know seeping into the paper and spread out and you're going to make a mess and she found that out but i adore the kind with wicks and they look like little candles if you get the kind of wax that does not have a wick, you just take your lighter, you know, light it and hold this with the pointy side down over the flame and just let it drip over the envelope. With these, you light them like a candle. And when they, when they come to you, the wick is going to be a lot longer than this. But if you can see, you want to trim that wick down just a little bit because of, and I shouldn't have trimmed this one down so that I could show y'all why. Sometimes you're going to create like this big flaming mess <laughs> with, with like this this flame attached to this and you know anyway trim the wick down to about that length. So this is my favorite color here. I like this red, but you know what? I just got this gold one in not too long ago and I've not used this one before. So let's give it a go. Now I'm going to zoom in here. And somebody's up there probably saying you talk too much. Yeah, well, you know what? If I don't tell people these things and I'm trying to save you some heartache later on down the road so that you know you can do it properly and not ruin your your project here but i like to make sure that the folded edge here of my envelope just kind of press that crease as much as possible to get this to lay down as much as possible that's really going to help you out so we're going to light this hold it down at a slight angle so that the flame can melt the wax and this wax melts very quickly and then you're going to drip a big old blob right here on your envelope either the same size as or a little bit bigger than the end of your stamp then you're going to take your stamp straight down onto it and then leave it alone for about 30 seconds pick it straight up don't wiggle it like this because then you're going to mess up your design just pick it straight up and then let it harden for a good two to three minutes before you touch it or you know stick it in the mail because the mailman ain't gonna like it if you fill up the, the post office box thingy with melted wax. So we're going to light this. Hold it near your paper. Because like I said, this wax melts very quickly. Hold it down at a slight angle. You don't want it to be a very sharp angle. And please make sure that you use good quality wax. Oh man, I have some cheap ones. I should have held on to it so I could show you all that. But when I lit it, the wax caught fire. So I had like this big flaming ball of just nastiness on my envelope. Yeah, I set my envelope on fire because, you know, I'm hardcore like that. <laughs> but yeah, you just drip, drip, drip. This does not have to be in a perfect circle. I don't want it to be perfect. You're just dripping around. I know this takes a minute. Okay, we'll turn it a little bit and be careful that you don't angle it down too much or your flame is going to go out. All right, this should be good enough. Now we're going to blow it out. 
I'm gonna lay that over there. Now I'll just take your wax stamp and I'm just gonna rest it there. I'm not pressing or anything because these little metal ends here are heavy. I just placed it down there. Don't bump it. Don't pick it up for a good 30 seconds. So I'm gonna pause the video and then we'll come back. All right, I believe it has been about 30 seconds. I don't even have a clock in here anymore. But um, what you're gonna do is just kind of hold it down with one hand and then pick it straight up with the other. Like that. You can see very clean, no wax is in there. If you do happen to get wax stuck in there, just soak it in some very, very hot water and it will come right out. And there is your beautiful little wax seal. How cute is that? So, just a cute extra little thing to put on Christmas cards and letters and whatnot. I need to get out my Christmas wax stamp so that I can do some Christmas cards and get them out early this year so I don't wait to the last minute like I did last year. <laughs> but anyway... I hope this was informative. I hope it helped someone out. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. Ooh. <laughs> hope to see y'all next time. Bye.